everyone. So I just put Knox and Finn down for the first time to play in the bathroom, not in the shower. And it's literally just been five seconds. They are really doing really well already. Finn was trying to groom Knox a little bit. So I, I kind of think he's gonna be the less dominant one of the pair. <laughs> oh, there we go. Finn found the dust, that's good. I maybe want to do one or two more in here and then we'll have a small sized playpen in the chin room so that they can get comfortable starting to have playtime in there. There has been no chasing. That's a really amazing thing so far. And chasing doesn't mean it's not gonna work out. It's just nice to not have to worry about them. Oh, oh. So that's, again, that's that's normal. Finn doesn't prefer that. So he kind of was squeaking and getting away like, hey, I don't really like that. And he's really, I really think he's trying to be sweet. <laughs> and Knox is like, well, I'm gonna be in charge in this relationship. <laughs> and I think that's okay with Finn. I don't get the feeling that Finn really wants to combat Knox. Otherwise, he would have turned around and kind of put his paws up and they would have stood sort of facing each other. And that hasn't happened. Finn is just sort of existing. <laughs> Knox is the one who's trying to be like, hey, this is how it's going to be. And really, that little instance right there was probably the, the worst it's been. They just sort of, Knox every now and then will just sort of mount him and Finn might might do a little soft chirp, but there's no biting. There's not even any fur slip. They just stop and continue with what they're doing. And again, I wanna point out one of the reasons that we're in here is you can see them both confused. Where are we? This isn't the play space. It doesn't smell like the cage. We want a little bit of that confusion. It just sort of takes the focus off of each other, kind of like we're in this together <laughs> situation. And you can see that even when Finn is right behind Knox, he's coming up to him. He still doesn't try to mount him. He's really sweet. I don't think he has any interest in being the dominant one. <laughs> hey, Noxy. Hey, Noxy. Oh. <laughs> So I do want to point out the two pieces of furniture I have here. There's this thing and there's this thing. So you have five seconds to figure out why I picked those things. They both have open ends, so nobody can get trapped. And that's really important in the chance that they would fight. We don't want someone to, to get attacked, even though I'm right here. Things can still happen pretty quickly. And the last thing I want is somebody getting hurt. <laughs> See, Finn was able to run away just then, um, and that's very important. So I'd always recommend having any kind of furniture out for a bonding session to be open-ended and have different places they can escape. And also, if you have two chins, it's not a bad idea to have it that way in the cage as well. So like hammocks that have two sides and cubes that have two sides, other types of hides that have two holes, that kind of thing. Okay, I forgot to take this out, didn't I? So it's been another few minutes and the mounting has really, really gone down in intensity for Knox, which is really good. They kind of pass by each other and he might kind of do a little something, but you can see just not really, not really interested in doing that anymore. And I think it's because Finn is just so accepting. Ay, 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 ay. Um, he, he just doesn't put up <laughs> any fights. So Knox is like, well, I guess that's that. 
That's, that's what I'm assuming is happening. Either way, I definitely take it as a good thing. Hi. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, what is going on? <laughs> There's nothing in there for you. Hey everyone, we are about to do our very first playtime with Nox and Finn in the chin room in their usual play space. So you can see that I've got it blocked off to a much smaller part of the room. This is just like the same idea as the bathroom. It's a smaller space and I don't want them to have the entire chin room right at the first start. I want them to start off with a very small space, less likely to chase. The plan is they're gonna go down in this dust right at the same time. So that should excite them, first of all, and they'll smell like each other. And dust makes them happy, so that's a great way to start playtime. Then we have two different hay stations with fresh hay. I've changed out all of this fleece so that it doesn't have any of the other pea smells on it. We're gonna leave this peekaboo in here uh, because I did great with that last time. We're going to put down this one as well since it has two open ends, obviously. This one's fine, it's open. And these both have places that you can come out. So I thought we'll leave this one in here because Finn really likes this. So I thought maybe this would be good to have him for him. And then I've got tons of sticks that we're just gonna put everywhere. This is gonna be a lot of distractions so that when they see each other, they're gonna feel really happy and associate each other with this really good play environment. Cute new dust Knox. Well, sometimes that's how it starts. <laughs> oh. It really looks like Finn is like happy to see him. <laughs> So right now they're definitely both a little confused as to why they don't have access to the entire room, but it does serve as a good distraction. And you see how important it is for him to be able to get away if he's done <laughs> being dominated, which is, it's still really normal, but it's good for there to be two openings so that one can always get away, just like that. And Knox isn't trying to hurt him or anything, but if he was, it would be really important, especially important for him to have that escape. And those little moments right there are, are really good. <laughs> the face to face, no first slip, no biting, nothing like that. They're just smelling each other. Don't try that again. No. We'll do something else. <laughs> One good thing is that Finn keeps going back to see Nox even after Nox is mounting him. That's really good. So that means Finn really doesn't mind. And he, more than anything, seems to want to get to know Nox. So that's great. He doesn't look afraid of him or in his environment or anything like that. Um, trying to Hope that he doesn't figure out that he can get over this thing. Because <laughs> he definitely can. So even though Knox was trying to mount him, which is, again, is very normal, he's not trying to pursue him constantly. Um, he's just grooming, he's doing his own thing, and he kind of just lets Finn know every now and then, hey, I'm in charge. But he's not going out of his way to track him down or anything. Oh, nope, I don't think so. <laughs>
I think this has gone really well. And wow, nobody, please don't. Um, <laughs> I think this is pretty much how it's going to be for the next couple minutes. So I'm going <laughs> to conclude this session here in just a couple minutes because I think they're pretty comfortable. And I might do this one more time before I open it up to the whole chin room. And we see how it goes.